Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge-of-your-seat virtual reality experience. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades, and while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Thank you for playing the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his sick throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job! Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Welcome back to Parts and Service. 
Oh no. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside. Are you having fun yet? That's great to hear.
Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the Chemi Spray. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the... Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted... Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job! Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Go on, take it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer- <laughs> Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all- Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. Oh no! It looks like Chica has... Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. 
Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Place the cupcake on the plate. Place the cupcake on the plate. Please place the cup. Great job. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Delicious. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully, Freddy, good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. to parts and service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our st Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and while we're at well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's walk. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind. Carefully place the music box on the work. Great job. To reset the safety latch, Press the Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on Crisis Averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. Yeah! 
That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of sim- Oh no! It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy- Good job! Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no! It looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission. Oh no! It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need a good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue.
Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple... Oh no! It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number 2 and number 4. Fix both fuses to continue. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repair- Oh no! It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. Good job! Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no! It looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable.
first there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the lives of children and show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would like to see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth and pop out the front of the mask. Because, yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day she agrees. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. You gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look 
and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. Hello? Can you hear me? I saw it for the first time today. There was a character, I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit, there's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong, but as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. Find something, 
or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active with the camera and remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. But anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, on the soon.